Good morning, Wolfpack. I'm William Moa. And I'm Jonah Mercado. Today is Thursday, October 20th, and we are here with your morning announcements. It's that time of year for Pumpkin Palooza. This is a teacher and student contest where they pick up, where they pair up <laughs> to design a pumpkin. The winner receives a $15 gift card to Target. Winners will be selected in four categories for scariest, most creative, most CEO spirited, and the funniest. The deadline to purchase tickets for the Senior Disneyland trip in January is November 9th. The trip is from January 13th to the 15th and costs $375. More information is on the screen now or an attached document in your Synergy email. Now, let's check out what's happening in the rest of the world with Damon and Angelina. Good morning, I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos, and we're here with your In the News update. Russian President Vladimir Putin has demanded martial law in Russian-occupied regions of Ukraine. Along with this, Putin also boosted the security powers of all Russia's regional governors and ordered the creation of a special coordinating council in attempts to renew faltering support in the war effort. A viral video showing a former Mississippi daycare worker scaring kids in her care while wearing a creepy mask has prompted child abuse. Charges against five daycare workers. Former employees Sierra McCandless, Oceana Kilburn, Jennifer Newman, and Cheyenne Shelton each face three counts of felony child abuse. And Tracy H Hudson faces failure to report the abuse and civil assault against a minor. Gas stoves in California have been found to be leaking cancer-causing benzene. Though researchers say they need to learn more to understand just how many homes have these leaks. Researchers have also estimated that around four tons of this uh, chemical are leaking into the atmosphere from outdoor pipes in California per year. This amount is equal to uh, the benzene emissions of nearly 60,000 vehicles. It is not yet known what attempts will be made in an effort to fix these problems. A nearly two decade effort by Californians to cut their emissions of planet warming carbon dioxide may have been erased by a single devastating year of wildfires, according to UCLA and University of Chicago researchers. According to a recently published study, the state's record-breaking 2020 fire season, which saw more than 4 million acres burn, spewed almost twice the amount of greenhouse gases as the total amount of carbon dioxide reductions made since 2003. Well, that's all we have for you today, Wolfpac. I'm Angelina Doherty. And I'm Damon Ramos. And, and this, this was your In the News Update. update. Thanks, guys. Remember, Back to School is tonight starting at 6 p.m and come watch the band perform bef right before. Just a reminder that food fair is tomorrow. Make sure to bring cash to come support our school clubs. Before we take off, I'm Joe Mercado. And I'm Willie Moa. And remember the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Happy, Happy National, National Chicken and Waffles. Chicken and Waffles Day, Wolf Pack.